So and I farm uh, 430 hectares on the slopes of Mangatau tree and we're a sheep and beef operation, 50-50. Um, uh, we'd heard about deferred grazing and, uh, and seen the numbers and uh, we didn't intend to defer graze this paddock but it, we shut it up for silage uh, in November and it was just full of uh, wire weed or hedge mustard, or proper name for it, and uh, uh, Californian thistle and willow weed and uh, it absolutely looked shocking and so when it came to cut it for silage when we did our other paddocks we decided that perhaps we could have a go at defer grazing this paddock and see what came out of it and we'd seen as I say the results from the trials but they were in dry years this was a wet year and so we were interested to see what it might look like at the end of it. Um, it created a bit of interest in the district in fact our son-in-law asked what the hell we were doing with this paddock right on the roadside and when I told him that we were defer grazing it he suggested we should do it at the back of the farm so no one could see um, and it looked even more disgusting after we ate it out with a mob of 1200 ewes but we were just blown away with the uh, with the result um, the, the amount of seedling regeneration was absolutely incredible and um, and the only problem we've had is keeping the grass under control. Um, it's certainly worked and the big benefit to us is that you do all the steep sidelings as well as the country that you could cover with a uh, under sower or with a cropping and uh, no sprays, we didn't put any nitrogen and, um, and it's just worked a treat. There's a wee bit of dock in the paddock but um, California thistles have disappeared, the hedge mustard won't appear till next year and it's, it's basically been swamped out and um, and no willow weed so yeah we're going to have a go at another paddock next year and uh, and we certainly learned from this. We've kept a record of uh, what happened, uh, we've got a bit of cool technology that we can take photographs and, and put them on a, onto a map and then go back and look at the different stages and uh, yeah it just blows your mind when you see how horrible it looked initially and then um, and what it looked when when the grass uh, germinated and uh, and it started to recover. So we're now into the shortest day and we grazed this paddock uh, just five days ago. It was a horrible day and the sheep were shorn and they moved around a bit and caused a bit of a mess but it's recovered remarkably well so obviously the reserves and the roots and the plants are still there and still we're still getting good recovery. It's been quite cold and, and windy here. We get a southeasterly wind which rips into this paddock a bit. So we're delighted with the uh, regrowth we've had.